in this video, we're going to cover the steps it takes to take a character that has been successfully auto-rigged and apply a motion pack to it using Mixamo animations. So once you have a character that has been auto-rigged, be it a fuse character or a character of your own design, um, you're going to hit the apply animation button. And in the applying animation, instead of selecting a singular animation, we're actually going to be selecting a motion pack. So instead of... Uh, Selecting one of these guys, we're going to go up here at the top and we're going to select one of our six motion packs available. So uh, let's pick the basic shooter here. It's going to take a little bit longer to load up a motion pack because a motion pack not only contains all the animations for the pack, it also contains the uh, logic behind the pack. So um, when you download a motion pack, you get the animations and you get the logic behind the animations to have it successfully work right away inside of Unity. So here we are, and um, once our page is loaded, you can see that we have some key controls over here. And when you put, when you select the window and you hit the key controls, your character will be moving around an engine. You'll notice that um, we also have a few other options for um, selecting different characters. So if we want to select any other characters, if we decide last minute to switch out, we have the ability to do that. And under the 3D Animations tab, we can also see the all the uh, animations supplied in this motion pack and we can click on them to demo them. Once we're happy with our way our character is moving around inside of Unity, um, we can hit the download button. And that's going to be taking us to the download page. So once we get to the download page, um, the first thing you'll notice right away is that there is an option for controller data. Uh, if you click on this, it's going to download um, a copy of the logic associated and a test character playing the animations. But this won't contain your specific character, so in order to download your character, what you'll have to do is select your motion pack and select any of our download formats. Um, a zip of the FBX will contain all the animations as well as your character. So um, I like to pick that one right away. Uh, you're more than welcome to pick any of the other options as well. So once you hit download, you're going to have two zips right away. So now that we have these uh, characters downloaded, what we can do is um, we can unzip them and then you'll put them into a local file of your choosing and then you will bring them inside of Unity. And I've already done that, so let's go straight to the Unity scene. So here we are in Unity. Uh, you can see I have my basic shooter already uh, open and the demo scene. So when I hit play, um, our character will be moving around as he was inside of the Unity window on Mixmo.com. However, this is not our character. This is uh, the Mixmo test character Alpha. But as you can see here, he does all the same animations as our test character. This is the motion pack working inside of the engine. So now that we've proven that the motion pack works, let's import our own character. So in order to do this, we're going to find our character on our computer. We're going to drag him right in, and we're going to drop him. This is going to import our character into Unity 3D. So now that our character has been imported, we're going to drag our character into the scene. And if we hit play, you'll notice that our character that we just imported is not actually going to be animating. We can still move alpha around, but our character will not be animating, so we need to fix this. So in order to fix this, what you're going to do is you're going to click on our character, we're going to go into the rig option, and we're going to hit animation type humanoid. We're then going to apply, and this is going to generate a new avatar for our character. Once it's been completed, we're going to select our character and drag him into the scene. Now under our character, we're going to click on our character, uh, we're going to go to our controller now, and we are going to go to asset basic shooter controller. Double click on this and it will now appear under our controller. After this, we will add our scripting logic, which is entitled the same as your pack, basic shooter controller. And now when we hit play, our character will be animating using the animations and the same controls as the Unity Web 3D window. You don't have to have alpha in the scene. Um, you can delete alpha. I just like to leave them in for a test to compare the two animations and show that the retargeting is working as intended. So this has been a very quick tutorial showing you how to take a character that you have successfully auto-rigged from Mixamo.com, apply a motion pack, and download it and have it work perfectly in Engine. Hope you learned something. Have a good one.